And um, we're going to ask you, because you're experts and we're not, <coughs> uh, maybe to give us a little tip, uh, either a player or a team that you think is going to be a little bit of a dark horse and might have, might be one worth watching in the 2019 Lidl National Football Leagues. So, Sinead? Uh, team or player? Either or. Um, I think, uh, I suppose, Jennifer Dunn from... Uh, is can it be, does that be? Oh, yes, yeah. it can be from anywhere. Uh, Jennifer Dunn from Dublin, she plays with Kula. Um, she's just starting out in DCU, but she's come on, um, you know, she came a minor, but she's last year, she came on like the last 15 minutes of every game, but she's um, a brilliant footballer and I can see a massive future in her in terms of her playing on the pitch and also as a person, she's, um, you know, got her head in her shoulders. Um, Which so, is important yeah. if she's mixing college and, 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 and everything else. What about you, Breed? You, you're the corporate representative yeah. you're going to be playing. You're the official Cork representative here in the non-official capital. <laughs> um, well, look, obviously, I, you know, there's fantastic talent still in that Cork team. And, Amazing. Um, you know, like even last year, I think we counted up that there was something like 67 all Ireland medals in that team last year. None of them have stepped away. Um, you know, there's a lot of minors that are after coming on board. Um, it's you know, look, I think even the experience of last year's final alone, um, I think everyone could appreciate it for the fantastic display of football that it was and the strength and the speed, like the speed was just phenomenal, like up and down the, up and down the pitch. And um, I just think they'll learn a lot from it. Those younger girls will definitely take a lot of substance from it. And, you know, I, I can definitely see bright things in the future and, you know, hopefully hopefully another All-Ireland captured, you so know, in years to come. So she's not ruling out well, no, court. She's <laughs> saying they're there, they're not going away the other, anywhere. The other team actually I do think that is definitely one to watch though would be Galway um, I suppose that Galway have always been there thereabouts you know for many years and I think you know if you look back on any of the league campaigns Galway have always you know really really pushed everyone to the pin of their collar I remember a couple of years ago we played Galway and it went to a replay in the league final um, they were just a phenomenal team and Galway are always such a traditional footballing side um, they always have great talent and I went to the All-Ireland minor final last year between Cork and, and Galway and and I just remarked on how brilliant some of their minors were. Um, and I suppose, look, I kind of looked up um, the panel this year and there's a, a couple of them on it, like another captain, um, Lindsay Noon, I think is it. Yeah, she's on the panel this year. And I, Interesting. I had her yeah. picked out as one, like a, a very, very good Excellent. player. Uh, yeah, and I suppose, look, they're after getting back a, a few players as well. Granted, they have lost, you know, fantastic Lassie player Flaherty, in Emer Flaherty. One of the greats. One of the greats yeah, of absolutely. Football. And, yeah. you know, retired. she is just, um, like, she's such a stalwart in that Galway team. So will be an absolute massive massive loss but they are getting back players like Dora Gorman Dora and I know Gorman. there's another De Burka yeah. girl that's coming that's back right. as well yeah, this year so yeah, yeah. And, and actually um, Mairead Coyne I think is a Mairead Coyne as well, yeah. well. Yeah. The yeah. as well so I just think so you know like if they if they drive on and, and do very very well in the league I, I suppose you just think that they might have it in them to take that step further I know they have pushed Dublin and um, you know many yeah. times and last year's league final you know was a uh, was a tight contest as well, like you know. So I don't know. I just think there might be something in that Galway team coming. And no pressure, anybody yeah. who's out here from Galway. <laughs> but but we put a little marker down. But that's what and that's what being good at something is: is that you can take that pressure, people can praise you, and you can play up to it. And that's what the great teams like Cork and Dublin have done. And over the years, Kerry and Waterford and Mayo and all those teams could do that. What about you, Lorna? Um well, I have a player of mine too. Actually, has been around for a while. Uh, she's a great friend of mine. But I play club ball with her as well. Um, but she's just been kind of unlucky with injuries over the years. But I think this year, Laurie Hearn will really, really step up for us as one of our wing forwards, corner forwards. I'm not sure where she'll be playing, but we've kind of missed her in the past couple of years. Right. And then. Um, Obviously, I hope we do well. <laughs> well, this is a great thing. You're up a new division, you know, yeah. and that's the excitement of the, yeah. of the league, isn't it? That you do get to go up a division and see now after last year. What about you, Ashley? Um, I suppose as a player that probably everyone is aware of, but I think Melissa Dogger from Cork is a girl that doesn't get enough recognition mm. that I she deserves. I agree with you. Yeah. And I suppose she's a player that I actually don't fancy marking. So <laughs> and Ian below there, they learned from the, ba the, the best on it, pulling jerseys, that's all they'd be asked. <laughs> <laughs> get it you in know, now, Ashley, because they're going to pay you back on Melissa the pitch. Melissa Dogger is probably up to my hips, and she's <laughs> catching me by the legs, while Ian Romini's catching me by the head trying to go for the ball. But I definitely think Melissa Dogger, um, even this year in terms of all stars and stuff, I think she's a girl that does and get the recognition she deserves okay. and I think if people keep an eye out for her she's an absolute amazing talent it, it's and really, such a lovely girl it's really interesting you should say that though because um, I spoke to your teammate Amanda this morning and she said that I was asking about going up the division and she said in training I always like to, to mark Ashling Maloney she said sometimes she roasts me but that's what it's about I have to mark players 
that are really hard to mark and so that's what she pushes herself to and that's what that's what football and that's what improvement is about um guys it's been fantastic to have you before we finish up um there's just a couple of things that we want to do um obviously again thanks so much to Lidl Ireland um for having us here at the launch of the 2019 uh, National Football League um and their new competition for primary schools so to win jerseys and equipment just look up um lidl.ie hashtag, hashtag or slash jerseys sorry and um, you'll get all the details there um before we finish again I would ask it to just recommend to you that you go and find the full interview with um, with Eileen Lawler. Lindsay Davies is in it from Dublin as well, but it is a really brilliant interview. Um, and for those of you who are playing in this generation, I think it'd be fantastic for you to hear the history and where it came from and how things have changed. Sometimes I think we think when things aren't changing, they're not changing fast enough for us as players, you know, things aren't moving fast enough. But I think you, you'd be surprised at how much things have changed in the last 30 years. Um, you can find all the previous episodes of Off the Bench uh, on the podcast link of Off the Ball. And um, we also have a Twitter handle. It's at Off the Bench, OTB, capital O, capital T, capital B. Um, serious support is something we feel really ser I mean, seriously about on Off the Bench. In all our podcasts, we say it, it, women can't progress and get opportunities and get sponsorship and get help if people don't go to watch them. So we feel really strongly and off the bench about the same notion as hashtag serious support. The national, Women's National Leagues are starting this weekend. Um, it promises to be a fantastic season, but we really, anybody who, who listens or hears this podcast, we really are asking you, um, you know, we know they're streaming, but really, if you even try to get to one game this season and bring a friend, that would make such a difference to the players because they love your support, but it also helps them to get, um, to get sponsorship and to get coverage and to persuade the media that, it, that, that they deserve the coverage they're getting.